Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in the last video, we used a low code, no code AI platform, Teachable Machine to build a classifier. Okay. We built a classification uh, model with the help of Teachable Machine, where we downloaded first uh, uh, brain MRI images from Kaggle and then we uploaded those images, the data set on Teachable Machine and we uh, use the platform to train a model and then we exported that model you know locally right so you can see on my screen uh, this this was the platform that we used and uh, we also tested it out with an with a sample image right so uh, you can export the model from here that we have already exported okay so we'll so in this video, we'll test it out. We'll test that the Python code that was given here. If you see here, let me come down. Okay, the code snippet that we we can see, uh, which has been which has been given as an instruction that how we can use that model. Okay, if you really want to test it out locally. So let me go back to folder. I will create a new folder here. I'll call it app because later we will also build a, build a streamlit application you know so in this i'll first create i'll copy this test.png file that we need i'll put it inside app and in app i'll open this in terminal good and i'll create a virtual environment so python 3 hyphen n vnv and dot vnv it will create a virtual environment for me. I will go inside VNV and bin. If you, if you are on Windows, you might be using PowerShell or Terminal. You have to go to scripts, not in bin. And then uh, source activate to activate this virtual environment. You can see in the right hand side, we have app now, which has been activated then i will go to the root directory the main directory that we have right and then i will create uh, maybe let's you know, go to vs code and create the file there okay uh, well first let me turn off all these notifications that i am getting so you can see i am in this app folder or the directory and then I have a VNV there and I have a sample file that we can test. We first need to create a requirements file. Requirements.txt okay. Because we have to use a few libraries, okay, there are a few dependencies uh, that are needed to run that code snippet that we have, you know, we have seen on the, uh, the Teachable Machine platform. Okay, so they, they have given us a Keras model but now Keras comes uh, uh, by uh, by default when you install TensorFlow what I will do I will do TensorFlow CPU I am not going to use GPU for this inference so I will write TensorFlow hyphen CPU to just download the CPU version of TensorFlow very minimal modules required right to run that image classifier if you if you are on GP, GPU you can have TensorFlow that and um, though I have GPU but I will not use it okay so I'll just use TensorFlow CPU and then uh, what else we will need uh, NumPy and Pillow right these are the things which required let me go back to this code and see uh, yeah so what we'll do now we'll just uh, first copy this code from here and I will get back to VS Code. And uh, meanwhile, let me first do a pip install. So pip3 install hyphen r requirements.txt. We have to first install all the dependencies, right? So it will take little time because TensorFlow CPU you can see right it has around 225 MB inside, right? Anyway, uh, what next? So we'll create a test.py file okay, where we'll test this Python code and see if it's running as it is, okay. Or we have to make some changes in the code. In we'll also uh, create a streamlit application later on, and then we'll containerize it and then we'll deploy it. But um, 
first first thing that we can see that we need this couple of files in the directory okay uh, keras model or labels txt okay then let me first see this has been downloaded then let me go back if you if i go back you can see this converted keras folder that i have i'll copy this come inside app and i'll paste it so now you can see i have this keras underscore model dot h5 and the labels dot txt if you click on labels dot txt we have zero which means no and one means which is yes a binary classification problem where there are two classes in keras model i can see this has to be renamed okay then underscore h5 labels txt uh, install pillow instead of pil this is a good well, this is a good suggestion anyway so we have installed pillow if you see here and then we have numpy the model you can see the model has been loaded here with keras uh, modules load underscore model then we have class name then we are uh, you can see over here a very 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 documented code okay uh, they are determining the first position in the safe tuple this is the tuple and rgb and uh, sizes uh, 224 cross 224 the channel and then we are we have to give this image path so let me change the image path so it will be test.png so test.png the sample file that we have and to convert the rgb if it's not and size 224 224 then we are turning the image into a numpy array so we can send that uh, numpy array uh, to the uh, trained model to perform the prediction step okay and we are normalizing the arrays you can see it over here with numpy.flow32 and then then we are loading the image into the array and then running the inference that model that we have that we have you know imported over here and then we are getting this argmax value the maximum of the classes that we have and then class name and prediction pretty much good so let's do one thing we have requirements of txt and everything so let's run this okay so what i will do i will run this okay perfect so when i ran the program or the code i will see it's a python file right so pretty much simple python and the file name dot py and you can see the class which says one yes it means tumor has been detected in this image that the test png file that we have you can see it over here and this also gives us a confidence score around 0 0.99 which means 99 percent right has been uh, detected so what we will do next now okay we will take this code and we'll create a streamlit application where we will upload a couple of more images and see uh, when we are inferencing it okay so what we did we took the uh, code snippet from teachable machine we uh, had a sample image and then we created a requirement.txt file we installed all the dependencies or libraries and then we tested it out okay with the code snippet that we hear in test.py now in the next video we will we'll create a streamlit application okay for uh, integrating this model into a ui okay so if you like the content like the video uh, please like and comment your thoughts or views or feedback in the comment box and please share this channel uh, uh, with your friends and in your peer thank you so much